Hello everybody, it's the Big Fat Crypto Guy. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so I said I promised you a video of when I uh, when I had sorted out my uh, new AMD build. So now we've got Frankenstein, Frankenstein Jr. and we got an AMD build. Okay, they're all 580s, uh, MSI, uh, AXFX and I can't pronounce that one, it's Aris or something. Um, it's, I think it's from a, uh, MSI, something like that. So, what have I learned? Flashing uh, a BIOS on uh, an AMD device, it's a piece of pie. It's it's very easy. You d I don't need to. You don't need to do anything really. You download something called Polaris, uh, and then you do ATI Flasher, and then something called a Pixel, a Pixel Flasher or something like that. It just saves the values. So it's just a click of a button. Uh, you pull off your other BIOS, which works already. Click of a button. Uh, you just put it back on, program it, uh, pixel patch or whatever it's called, uh, and then that's it, done, sort of like that. So that took me about 10 minutes uh, to do the whole three cards. Um, I thought the power was having an issue because um, every five minutes it was cacking out basically. And I thought to myself, why, why, why is this like this? Why is this like this? So uh, I took everything off, took all the graphics cards off, all the 580s off the graphics cards, and said to myself, "We'll put them in one by one and see what happened." Uh, it didn't happen again after that. Uh, I rewired how the PSU is working and then got it stable. And obviously, that is uh, that is the AM1 AMD up there. Nice hash. What a pain in the ass it is for the uh, the legacy uh, the legacy uh, minor program. So, <laughs> I've had some problems with this. Uh, MSI Afterburner as well, I've had some problems. Uh, so with NiceHash, uh, you download the program, uh, it benchmarks obviously. If you're, if you're going to um, use NiceHash, uh, put it on a standard benchmark. On a quick benchmark, so again, it crashes the machine, so going back to my power issue, I believe it was nice ass crashing the machine basically. Put it put it all on a standard benchmark and let it run. So as you can see it's still benchmarking now, so I've only got it working in the last like 10-15 minutes working properly. So standard <laughs> standard standard benchmark. Don't do a quick one, it crashes the machine. It crashes my one, probably won't be the difference as yours. Uh, I did do a quick runtime on stock settings of all the three cards beforehand on Ethereum. And it was a uh, it was a really nice you know really good hash rate, twenty four uh, between sorry between twenty and twenty four mega hashes per card, so that was quite nice. Uh, I haven't done it on a BIOS yet because obviously as you can see, uh, sorry modded BIOS yet. As you can see, I'm uh, I'm still uh, benchmarking and I'm nearly done on the cards. Uh, and that's it really. Just, it's a pain in the bum. Afterburner was a pain in the bum as well. Because I had Afterburner running with the fans, because obviously, at the moment, the fans aren't working. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure how to get them working without outside the Afterburner program. So comment below, please, because uh, that would be really nice. Uh, the Radeon software, uh, I've got no idea how to use it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was that. I got the blockchain drivers from there, from AMD as well. So, that's that really it's uh it was quite obviously building a computer takes five minutes right uh everything else um you know it just takes time and it is it has been taking time i didn't go to bed until about half past one last night because i was still messing about with uh how to get it all working but slept on it re re re, re configured rewired some things and Basically got it working, benchmarking, it's not crashing, it's been on, it's benchmarked uh, 11 out of something like 44 uh, benchmarks or whatever, um, and that's it. Uh, please comment below because I would like to know about the Afterburner thing, the Radeon software and how to use that, I might, you know, Wikipedia or something, because you can always get an education off Wikipedia, uh, and and that's that, I shall, I shall thank you very much for watching, uh, like, uh, share, subscribe, smash the smash the subscribe button, please. Thank you very much. That's the big fat crypto guy.